nice here. Be nice, guys. Hold on, hold on. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first race of the first Drivers season to your car. of the Navrar Racing Series. I am Jacob Trejo here as we get set to go racing for 60 laps at Daytona International Speedway. It's the DB and Dark Cup Series and it's the 2x500. On the pole for this prestigious event will be Alex Miller in 34 uh, Calgary Flames hockey team Pontiac. Yes, that's Drivers right. Drivers to your car. You heard me correctly, Pontiac. Because, well, who doesn't want to fit in that trip? Anyways, alongside him will be Jennifer Legacy. Row 2 will have Merrick Ishtar and Leia Walker. Row 3 will have Buhari and Jackie Tang and Dakota Hanger, Chase Carpenter, Alan Bledsoe, and Trace Legacy. To round out the top 10. So let's go racing. Here they are, they're rolling. 85 miles per hour, ladies and gentlemen. We get set to go racing for 60 laps, that's right, 60 laps. And here they come to the green, and boogity boogity boogity, let's go racing. Boys and girls and everybody else and whatnot. As it looks like Alex Miller got a good, great start as they head into turn one. Here they now come out of turn number two. America starts now side by side with Jennifer Legacy as they go down the backstretch two by two. Side by side, all the way down to the field. Yes, folks, I have the frames for second thing up, so a way I can use it myself. It looks like Merrick Ishar is trying to help. Uh, Alex Miller breaking away from the field. As now three wide to third. Here comes Cody Hayner now on the inside of Ferrari. Now is going to get free trade on the outside. It looks like she bounced off the wall. She bounces off the wall again. Going through the trial. As now here comes Alan Bledsoe. Up to fourth. Tapia up into uh, fifth. Apologies to uh, Dr. Michael who I butchered her last name, by the way. Oh, it looks like Mary Gishar is now going to go for the lead here, entering turn three. And he will. And Mary Gishar will get the lead, exiting turn number four. Here they come. Fly by shot. Alex Miller is trying to hang tough off on the outside. However, Merrick Ishtar will easily lose the lap. And it looks like Alan Bledsoe. Oh, no. Uh, looks like Alex Miller still will have gotten second. Just barely over it. Uh, Alan Bledsoe. He's now second. Look at Zen Lingathan being all third. He's actually the uh, three. Uh, and NASCAR Anthro Racing Series. And here comes now Alan Bledsoe, trying to take the lead away from Eric Ishtar. Douglas McCorder. Oh, looks 
like Merrick got into the wall. Oh! Look, looks like uh, DJ trying to get the lead. Alex will... Alex Miller will... Or not Alex Miller. Uh, Alan Bledsoe will lead the lap, but DJ McGorder gets the lead. Coming out of the trial. However, he has a huge gap between him and second. That's going to hurt him in the long run here if they head down the back straightaway. Mahari's in third, and it looks like um, uh, Paul Bledsoe, Alan Bledsoe's brother, is uh, taking fourth along with uh, Sami Hono Mami in fifth with Darius Leiden taking six. However, Sami is going to settle for fifth if she takes fourth from Paul Bledsoe. Darius Leiden will follow her into fifth. But Sami's just not settling as she goes for third around uh, Mahari in 71. Mahari's going to get the free screen, as now Bryce Wild picks it up to fifth. Joy Ravenhurst in sixth. Kyle Corbett is in seventh. Quick Bourne in eighth. And Jamie Pintor in ninth. As along, with, along with Alex Hawkins get, getting up to tenth. And Asami Hononomami is going for the lead. Trying to catch up to her on the inside. Dory is lighting trying to walk and basically get down in front of Joy in time. Who's gonna lead the lap? Sami has no drafting help whatsoever, but she can still barely lead the lap over Douglas and Quarter. Side by side for second and destroy Ravenhurst in the 47 versus Douglas and Quarter in the 45. Sami looks to be blocking DJ, but can can she? Hey, yeah, she does. She does indeed get in front of the 47 barely. Kyle Corbett looks to now take second away from uh, Joy Ravenhurst, Jamie Pintor, and Miles Lionheart in tow. Completing lap nine. Miles Lionheart goes to take fourth away from Jamie Pintor. He's going to train four with Luis Hernandez in tow. Alex Miller behind Luis. Cal Corbett's now under fire from Miles Lionheart for third. We are competing lap 10 and 60 here at the high banks of Daytona. And Miles Leinhardt's going for second. Luis Hernandez and Alex Miller almost make contact three wide. Alex Miller is going to get the best of that. Here comes DJ McCorder now for fourth against Luis Hernandez, and Miles Leinhardt going for the lead. I think I hear all of Daytona cheering as car number three has taken the lead. The car number and sponsor, of course, being partnered up uh, 
celebrate Dale Earnhardt's legacy throughout the entirety of Alex Miller has taken the second and the engine quarter to the third. Alan Bledsoe has worked his way back up to fourth. Oh, DJ in the quarter trying to take the feet underneath Alex Miller. Looks like the pack is getting spread out. As we are now rounding about 12 of 60. DJ McWhorter takes a peek underneath the 31. It's too far back to try to complete a move. As here comes Cody Lama in the 48. Oh, 46 is in the wall. Oh, 42 is in the wall. Everybody's in the wall. Where the hell did Cody Lama come from? He now rounds the field in fifth, but here comes Shinari and Roko trying to battle Lamas. He takes six spot away. He does 48 back to six. Here comes the four trace legacies. Oh, almost. Yeah. Makes contact with the 48. Looks like that's Brendan Berg in the 41. Running around eighth as now a lot of people just stuck down and try to make passes. Here comes Shin now. Taking fourth away from Alan Bledsoe. Leave sixth from Cody Lama to get Brendan Bird. Trying to take seventh. Sami Homolami is running ninth. And here comes Ryan Vaughn in the first like five or tenth. Now Lama's going to be up under fire from the 25 and the 42. Luis Hernandez pretty soon here. As Alan Bledsoe goes drilling all the way back to 7th. And probably still going to lose even more spots. Here comes Shin Arioko now. Trying to take 3rd away from DJ McWhorter. Brendan Burke trying to take 5th away from Trace Legacy. Oh, so spread out. And... The two last place cards are Jeremy, Luigi Max, and Joseph Onesto as they battle for 40th. Oh, 41st. Miles Leinhardt still leading as Shin Orioko has taken second, Brendan Bird third. Trace Legacy has taken fourth in the fourth car. Oh well. And Alex Miller is now under fire from Asami Horono Nami and for the lead. Here comes Shin Arioko in 278. Trace Legacy in tow. Ben Berg went with all flying heart. Oh, Miles Leinhardt strips the wall, entering the trial. Dead heat between the four and the three for second place, but it looks like it's a long and he second barely. Behind these guys, it's all single file for good 10, 11 cars. As the field is just oh so spread out. Sami Horonami is now trying to take third away from Oz Leinhardt. And now he's going to lead. Three seconds in second. We are now completing lap 17 of 60. Pit stops are going to be coming up soon. It's only a matter of, well, how far can these guys go? The lead pack is a good. Brendan Berg will be ninth. 
and the seven car of Darius Lydon will round out your top ten current. Kyle, Kyle Corbett now is underneath the seven for ten. As for third, Ryan Vaughn into underneath the Tommy Hunter will not fall back with no drafting help whatsoever. Yes, these cars are running over 200 miles an hour. As we're going about 205 right now. 206 for Joy Ravenson. As they go into the front one, Ron Vaughn, that's the one in support. He's going to try to take third away. And he does. Luis Hernandez in tow will try to take fourth. And here comes Ryan Vaughn now, dunking in to the inside of Trace Legacy. Does not complete the pass, but Luis Hernandez will now begin losing a lot of spots. Here comes Shinori Yoko now. Clearing the field, looks like Battle for the has settled a lot. Looks like the top five. Top five, six, seven cars have battled. Here comes Kyle Corbett now. He is trying to play the top ten now. Trying to play four. And here comes Hunter Kiro, 19. Where did he come from? As now we got a whole mess of battle up here. Running on now. We now successfully take second away from Trace Legacy. Here they come now for the speed shot. Alex Miller now trying to Hawkins, sorry, is going to try to take uh, third. He does. Miles Linehart with fourth. Tom Hulonami will take fifth. Al Corbett will take sixth. He's been pretty consistent up here so far. I think Shin Yoko has left the most laps currently. As we are now over a third of the way done already. Still continuing to battle for pretty much second to last and dead last with the field bearing down on them. They are now officially on the same straightaway as the leader. Kyle Corbett takes fifth. Here will take sixth. Will Joy Ranger take seventh? Not quite. Go on board the night. Does 
give way as now we have a three car breakaway with a fourth just now passing the last car. Everyone else is held up by the Max and Onesta. However, pit stops are coming soon. Don't have an idea what lap they will be coming down on. Most likely between the next five and ten. Which is an acceptable year next year. Looks like Miles Reinhardt's leading, Alex Hawkins is second, Kyle Corbett's third, and Hunter Kiro is fourth. And it looks like more cars are breaking past uh, Onesto and the Max. Raven Hersey Legacy now battle for fifth. Kinda. Ryan Vaughn goes up to the outside though. Yoko, holy crap, he's still caught behind Onesto and cannot for the life of him just get past him. He's still being hung up on the outside of the drop outside the top 10. And it looks like the pack, secondary pack has caught the first four cards. As already, Joy Ravenhurst is now looking to try to take third. Hunter Kiro blocks and is going to overtake Hawkins going into three. Ravenhurst is going to down to third. Going to the tri -oval. Nope, she's not going to just go. Nope, she's peeking on the at the moment. She's going to try to go for Kiro. In the second line, meanwhile. Miles Reinhardt continues to lead, but he has a huge back up to the huge advantage. He's going to get to run on him. Then it's going to be quite hard for him to block. However, we've seen drivers time and time again still be able to successfully block even with that disadvantage. Ryan Vaughn now goes for second against Ravenhurst. So Cal Corbett's now going to go for third against Ravenhurst. We have like a good 10 car breakaway. Oh, 13 car breakaway, sorry. Therefore, Lexi now trying to get fourth away from Ravenhurst. Five of Bond riding on the right on the of once again breaking the top right behind the second water. He's been quiet most of the day already as we are now approaching the halfway mark. Half a lap to go until we're halfway at Daytona. Luis Hernandez has come back into the top 10. Joy Raven has fallen just outside the top 10. Oh, pit stop! I predicted they would be coming around in five laps, so here they are, pitting. Looks like most of the field is pitting. Here comes Chase, Allen, uh, Chase Carpenter now. Oh, almost contact between the 55 and the 40. Looks like they're all trying to get fuel and whatnot. Jackie Tang and Chase Carpenter now hit their pistol simultaneously. And we have a big group of cars leaving pit road. Looks like Jennifer Legacy is the first one off. Followed by Ryan Vaughn and Zachary Fitzwater. Al Corbett has led a lap. Followed by 
Darius Lyden, Bryce Riles, and Quick Bourne. Oh, but Fitzwater shoves the 55 under in the 10 underneath the white line that separates the apron from the rest of the apron. That sounded weird, but whatever. Who's gonna leave the lap? Looks like the seven car just led a lap. But he's on pit road. Kyle Corbett was also in second. Here comes the lead field now. Yeah, the 10 car was Fourth at the time, Jennifer Lake is just a leader. What kind of half leg? As the lap car of Ray Tahita. Oh, holds up the leader. Here comes Fitzwater now on the inside. Can't play the around. Tahita will have to settle to just stay in the draft behind her. Or these guys can only go about 30 to 31 laps. They're in danger. This is a fuel mileage race. As Fitzwater easily takes the lead now. As Ryan Vaughn clearing the left car now. And Jennifer like the right go. Seven cars in fourth. 82 and 48. Zen Langston and Cody Lamas. Uh, battle for fifth. 19 and the 1 still remain in the top 10. Meanwhile, way behind them is a large group of cars led by Quick Born in the 16. Well, soon to be the Fernandez in the 42. Then a group of cars led by Ledso with the lap cars of the Max and Ornesto in the 12. Then Paul Ledso and Amy Lou. Running there, then Jack Tang leads a few cars. Then by themselves are Luke Walker, then Dominic Cousins with Cody Hayner, and then back to the lead pack. Hang on, there's still cars on pit row. Oh, oh my, oh my God, there's. I wonder what happened to these guys if they're still on pit road. That does not make any sense whatsoever. Why would these guys still be on pit road? Oh man, heartbreak for the number three car who's on pit road still, if I can just get to him. There we go. Oh, Corbett's on pit road. Shit, what are these guys doing? I don't think they even got any damage done to them. Why are they just sitting there? Oh, it looks like Fitzwater got passed by the 55. And yeah, they're like four, five, three laps down. What the hell? Fitzwater now for second for the legacy. And now here comes the seven car. Holy crap, does he have speed? As he's now side by side with Jennifer Legacy. Here comes Lamas, Bryce, Riles, and uh, Zen Langevin now. Catching up to these guys. Fitzful Hunters going for the lead. Darius Biden is in tow. Fitzwater, of course, won the three. Opener, which was the two pound five hundred. Go to Hainer, Walker, and Dominic Cousins in danger of going a lap down. They haven't already. They have not. Okay, good. As now the seven car of Darius Lydon leads the field. Jennifer Legacy is in second. Cody Lamas now is taking third away from Fitzwater. And here comes Bryce Riles for fourth. Bryce 
Sproul steps out trying to possibly take third away from Cody Lamas. Brian Vaughn will be in tow and Bryce Riles will successfully take the spot as the inside line has been selling to be faster than the outside line so far. Oh man, but what an accomplishment by Darius Light. He hasn't been all that loud throughout the Anto Racing Series league that I ran. He's won a couple of races though. Anyways, but here he is leading two times 500. He's got a whole mess of Chevys, a Dodge and a Toyota behind him. His first Pontiac is oh, first two Pontiacs are racing side by side right now for a uh, ten. Hit road. Oh, Demax is blown up. Demax is blown up. We are hearing there is oil on the racetrack. There will be a caution. There will be a caution. And the caution has Best come out. Real quick. And here you see the pace car pulling off. These guys are still on pit road. And here comes Darius Sliden trying to come up and lead the lap. Oh, but man, a heartbreak for Eugene Max. He will be the first car to retire from today's event. Can he make it back to pit road? He's currently running at 94, 393 miles an hour. I think he'll make it back, but it's a long way to pit road. I mean, he. Man, what a heartbreak for that LG Electronics number 90 Chevrolet. As the field now cycles back around and catches up with the pace car, Darius Leiden is your leader. You're just past the uh, two-thirds mark of the race. Bryce Riles is second. Cody Lamas is third. Ryan Vaughn is fourth. Jennifer Legacy is fifth. And... 40 of Zachary Fitzwater is 6. Then you have the 82 of 7. DJ Porter in 8. Luis Hernandez in 9. Alex Miller in 10. So will they pit? Doesn't look like anybody is coming down pit road. This will help them for fuel, by the way. Trace Legacy is in 11th. Then you have the 16 of Quick Born. Then you have the 19 of Hunter Kiro. 47 of Joy Ravenhurst. 25 of Alan Bledsoe. 59 is a last car. 31st of Ray Takeda. Then you have Luke Walker, I think. Leia Walker. One of the Walkers. Yeah, Leia Walker. In uh, 16. Joseph announced as a lap car. Jimmy Pintor is in 17. Jackie Jane is in 18. Eleanor Rhodes is in 19. And rounding out the uh, top 20 is Paul Bledsoe. Man, what a heartbreak for Eugene the Max blowing up after well quite frankly I think he was running he was running 33rd a lap down but ouch man what a heartbreak for that guy can't seem to catch a break anyways uh, we'll be right back and by I will be, and what I mean by we'll be right back is I'm sorry to wait not for you with cars just going, going, and going. And it looks like we're getting the one to go here. 
There we go. And we're back from accelerating the race. We're going to be getting a restart with... 19 to go, something like no, 26 to go. Anyways, green flag is out. Wait, no, 16 to go. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Great tanky to... However, they're just slowing the inside line down and starting to slide in. Bryce Morales has already cleared them. Cody Lamas will clear them exiting turn number two. Even Max hasn't retired yet. So. Now the last cards are battling side by side. This is dangerous for the rest of the pack. Away. However, of course, with the draft, these guys won't be away for long. Darius pulls out of somewhat of a large lead for what we've seen here at Daytona. For some reason, Joseph Onesto thinks it's, it's going to be a good idea to try to pass Cody Lamas, however, he just doesn't have the speed, so now he's just going to hold up both lines. The outside because the inside line is faster, and the inside line because that's the rest of the one who's gaining any positions. As Trace Legacy now peeks underneath him, but he kind of peeks underneath Cody Lamas. What is Joseph Onesto thinking? Darius is his lead. On pit road for whatever stupid reason. Probably glitch on pit road. As we still have side by side action towards the back of the pack, which is where Ray Tikidita has fallen so far. Meanwhile, Joseph Onesto has actually gotten side by side with Cody Lamas with help from DJ McWhorter. DJ McWhorter is not trying to take third, not fourth. Remember, the 60 car is already a lap down. And he is driving an Apollo, not an SS. Remember that, folks. DJ McWhorter, now third. Jennifer Legacy is now fourth. And Alan Bledsoe is back in fifth. And, and whoa! Joseph Manesto tries to block. He makes contact with the 45. Listen, think he made contact. Let's see that instant replay. Because, yay, video game. Was it contact? Not quite. My bad. Now, the Ford finally kicks Joseph Onesto to the outside, where he, Alan Bledsoe, and it looks like... Shit, which one is this? Leia Walker will finally pass him. As... Ooh! Almost contact between the 25 and the 45. As Bryce Riles now under fire for second. Meanwhile, Darius Biden is looking in his mirror and smiling, because he knows that he's not the one to be passed. However, I bet you he's now frowning because he realizes that he will be the next one pass. If the even quarter can get up there. As Alan Bluto now ducks down to the inside of the quarter going into one. Here comes Leia Walker now. Fourth turn. Where the fuck did Jackie Kane come from? He's now trying to get fourth away from DJ McCorder. As Alan Bluto goes for the lead. Jackie Tang goes for third. What the? F Seriously, where the fuck did he come from? Paul Bledsoe's trying to get up there and work his way into the top five. Alan Bledsoe's leading. Jackie Tang is second. What the? Here comes Jackie Tang for the lead. Ten and go at the line.
just when he thought this race was going to become a forfeit. Now, here comes Trace Legacy for second around Alan Bledsoe. Here comes Paul Bledsoe behind him. Jackie Tang is leading in the Interstate Batteries Toyota. Here comes now Trace Legacy for the lead with Paul Bledsoe in tow. The Bledsoe, Ble no, the Bledsoe brothers are side by side. Not for long is now Paul Bledsoe pulled up alongside Jackie Tang with Trace Legacy in the lead. Cody Lom is now side by side with Alan Bledsoe. Trace Legacy leads the lap, nine to go. Trace Legacy comes down and blocks Paul Bledsoe, who's looking underneath Trace Legacy. Jackie Tang is pulling that outside line as, Jack, as Cody Lamas has not been able to quite pull up alongside Alan Bledsoe. Here comes Alan Bledsoe now trying to get down underneath his brother. And he will. They are approaching eight laps to go. Here at Daytona, Paul Bledsoe second, Alan Bledsoe third. Jackie Tang is now battling Cody Lamas for fourth. Seriously, where the fuck did Jackie Tang come from? I'm good. Which, where the fuck did Paul Bledsoe come from? Weren't they battling for like 20th earlier? Now here comes Alan Bledsoe, looking inside his brother now, I assume. I don't know. I'd have to actually have to ask Paul Bledsoe on Facebook to put their relationship. So I may be doing up some relationship here. Anyways, Alan Bledsoe is now going to take the second. Is Jackie Tank cut in front of the 55 Ryan Bond? No! Jackie Tank and Paul Bledsoe will now start to fall back. Alan Bledsoe switches with his brother for... Second and third, however, now Ryan Bond's trying to come back up to the front. Here comes Darius Leiden in tow. And Bryce Ryle. And David Diaz. And Joseph Manasso is the last car. And uh, Amy Liu, even. Folks, this is the race to finish right here. With, uh... This is top 15 cars and the last car of Nesto here. Trace Legacy just trying to hang on for another seven laps. Almost six. As he has Bledsoe. Uh, Leiden, another Bledsoe, and Riles behind him. Here comes Allen's Bledsoe now to the inside of Trace Legacy into turn one. Here comes Paul Bledsoe to follow his brother. Around Darius Leiden from third. Six laps. To go. Ray Takeda is now just running by herself. In this, and then there's the smaller pack. Then there's the front pack. Here comes Paul Bledsoe now, following his brother in the second. While Alan Bledsoe leads, and here comes now Bryce Riles around Trace Legacy for third. Almost, almost. Bledsoe brothers leading the field. Five. Laps to go in a two times 500. They're pulling away. Here you see the side by side battle between Trace Legacy and Bryce Riles. This is now just Trace Legacy. He has prevailed on the high side somehow. Bryce Riles now battles Darius Leiden for fourth, with Joseph Anesso the lap car in tow. Can Trace Legacy upset, or as he looks underneath Paul Bledsoe for second? Four to go. Bryce Riles gets fourth. Can he get third? Looks like Luis Hernandez has lost this front pack. Trace Legacy goes for the lead with Paul Bledsoe in tow. We're coming to three to go here, guys. 
That's right, three laps remaining in the two times 500. Paul Bledsoe second. Bryce Riles third. Alan Bledsoe fourth. But we'll probably lose that spot to Leia Walker here soon. Will Paul and Bryce make a move, or will they let Trace Legacy run away with the win? I don't know, but Paul Bledsoe's pushing Trace Legacy ahead of the field. We're coming to two to go, guys. Who is going to win the race? It's two laps to go for Trace Legacy, something he has been wanting here. I bet you for the past 80 laps, even though this is a different level of event, whatever. Paul Bledsoe, right now content, I bet you he's not really content and he's gonna try to make a move here soon. Leo Walker's gonna try to go underneath Joseph Ernesto, try to make a move on Bryce Riles eventually. Amy Liu and Alan Bledsoe will follow. We're coming to the white flag. That's right, the white flag for Trace Legacy in the number four drive to end hunger Chevrolet. You saw right there, white flag is out. Will Allen Bledsoe make, Paul Bledsoe make a move? There he goes. Paul Bledsoe trying to make the last lap pass on Trace Legacy to turn two. Leia Walker trying to pass Bryce Riles for third. Trace Legacy hanging tough on the outside. It's not going to be enough. Paul Bledsoe will still be able to pass him on the inside. Leia Walker cuts down to the inside to Paul, Paul Bledsoe. Into the trial will they go. It's over. It's going to be Paul Bledsoe at the line. Paul Bledsoe wins the two kinds 500. And here comes now the second pack, led by looks like Eleanor Rose. Might go over the pocket. Not doing. And now here comes Ray Takeda to eventually get this race to be over. And there he is. There she goes. There's your official standings, folks. Paul Bledsoe wins by eight hundredths of a second over Leia Walker. Then Amy Lou is a full sixteen tenths back. Trace like to see four. Alan Bledsoe fifth. Ryan Vaughn sixth. David D is seventh. Where did he come from? Rest Rolls, 8, Jackie Chain, 9, and Douglas and Porter rounding out your top 10. Oh man, I was going in the first half, but the second half was somewhat action packed. I still have no idea why people are just stuck on pit road. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Uh, the next race will be at, if I recall correctly, um, I forget what the next race is actually, where the next race is actually at. I don't know. I'm too excited to remember. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Um, I think the only driver to retire was Eugene, no, no one is actually officially retired. I'm going to have to change that. Like, make everybody off in, like, Eugene Max, like, engine or something, but. Yeah, Paul Bledsoe, everybody. He's your winner. Uh, this has been the Two Counts 500, and this has been the first race of the Navrar racing season for the DeviantArt Cup Series. Wow! <laughs> If anything's like that last 10 laps, this is going to be an exciting season. So, uh, well, 
Might as well sign off now.